don't know if I need them though. Every walk, like three blocks, brings a family. But I said no. Wah, wah, wah. Closer together. I know. I think we should go that way. Can you hold my hand? While we're crossing the street. Carrie Davis. So let's go that way. And her daughter Kira come to their neighborhood park in Arvada. Ah! Ooh, there's a bee on that one. <laughs> to be with someone they love. This is Andy's tree. And it's decorated for his birthday because his birthday will be this Sunday. Would have been this Sunday. Carrie's husband, Andy, passed away last November. Your balloons fell down. Not even the leukemia that took his life can stop them from celebrating his birthday. Like in this book. He loved the outdoors. He loved snowboarding. He loved craft beer. Um, he loved being a father to our daughter, Kira. Andy so he was died at 42. Uh, what he chose to do with his body definitely. will ensure it lives on in new ways. Andy was the fifth person in the state of Colorado to be composted. Yes. Human composting became legal in Colorado last year. As Andy battled cancer, Carrie asked him what he wanted to do when the time came. It means he was naturally reduced. He was um, put in a vessel with uh, lots of um, natural ingredients to help uh, speed along the decomposition process. And um, after, I think, three to four months, he was a, a cubic yard of, of soil that people could use to um, bring life to other things. Just lift it this way. The soil created from Andy's remains now sits in Carrie's garage. We call it Andy's soil. Waiting for friends and family to take it and plant new life. I love that, that I, we could share Andy with, with other people. Andy still grows close to home. This tree is special because it was planted with Andy's soil. Of all the trees in the park. It will always be a special park for sure. Only one brings a family closer together. Instead of visiting a cemetery, uh, or a grave site, we can visit a tree in a park around the corner from our house. Andy's soil is being used to plant flowers and trees all over the country. At his celebration of life, his family gave out the soil with the intention that people can take him back home and grow life wherever they live. State law says you can only grow flowers, plants, or trees. Kyle, no food. I'm glad that we followed up on this process after the first couple of folks we found out were, were going through the composting process to now see the way that it's impacted family and friends. It really is meaningful. I've done several stories on this and seeing that tree, you know, his daughter being able to go up to it and decorate it with happy birthday signs, it's a tangible thing to remember somebody that they love. And I think that's what's so special about this. Yeah. Thank you, Mark.